Hey everyone, it's Haley, and today I'm going to be doing a spoiler-free review for The Geography of You and Me by Jennifer E. Smith. This book follows Lucy, who has lived in New York her whole life. Despite her parents traveling around the world, they always seem to leave her behind. So she's kind of lived in her own little world in her apartment building. But one night when there is a huge blackout across New York and a lot of North America, she ends up stuck in an elevator with the new boy, who is of course cute, and he's the new boy in the building, and they get to talking and she kind of starts coming out of her shell. And after spending this um, 24 hours or maybe a little bit less than 24 hours together they end up parting ways completely across the world and this book follows their journey as they try to maintain a connection and make something out of their relationship when they're both literally going separate ways. I had read The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by this author before and I wasn't a huge fan of that book. I found there wasn't a lot to it so I kind of had really low expectations going into this especially because this book has really mixed reviews and a lot of people really don't like it so I was kind of anticipating not liking it either but I actually really enjoyed it. I found the writing to be really easy to read. It was super quick, super easy, quirky characters, all that stuff that I was looking for to get me out of my reading slum. And I read this during my final so I was looking for something that was just going to be easy and mindless and I could just read and this was exactly that. The language wasn't flowery or anything. Sorry my voice is going, I have tonsillitis right now. Um, but the language wasn't flowery, I didn't have to really think about it, I didn't have to feel like I was deciphering some sort of code. It was really just the story laid bare just right in front of you and I really liked that. I thought it worked really well for this book. This book really utilized perspective in an interesting way because it was told in third person limited so each chapter would focus on a different person so you would get to get the whole um, relationship and seeing what each character was thinking and you didn't feel like you were just getting one side to it so it made it make more sense and you were able to really connect with both of the characters which worked really well for this romance. My one issue though was with the inconsistencies in the writing I felt like sometimes the writing style would change a little bit and sometimes um, the chapters would all of a sudden be written in a certain way when for the part the first part Part of the book they're written in another way I found that there was a little bit of a disconnect there but it wasn't too big of a problem I was still able to enjoy the book as far as characters go I really enjoyed Lucy um, honestly she wasn't a really distinct character I don't think. Um, I did like the fact though that she had this kind of her own little world that she was living in and I really felt like the chapters that focused on her like I was being brought into that world and it was interesting to see things from her point of view but she honestly doesn't really stick out to me as a protagonist. Um, I wish she had had a little bit more uniqueness to her but she didn't but it's fine. I'm more so found that I could um, identify with the characters in relation to each other, if that makes sense. As individuals, they didn't really stand out, but together um, it kind of made more sense and I was able to enjoy them more. That being said, I really liked Owen. I found the most interesting contrast between the two of them was in their interactions with their family, and I liked that the family was brought into it and they became a part of the book, because sometimes when you're reading books, and I've said this in a couple reviews recently, because I guess I've been reading contemporaries where the families are involved, but um, I found find sometimes in contemporaries the families kind of fade into the background and they're just there because the character has to have a family but I liked this book because the family is involved in it and they play a key role in it because a lot of the issues with the characters have to do with their individual families and I think you could really see how the family shaped who they were which was nice and I think it um, made them really distinct characters because of their families. The plot of this book was fun. This book is by no means a masterpiece. It's not like a fantastic book, but I was looking for something quick, easy, and cute, and that was exactly what I got here. It wasn't anything intense. There was no really underlying, like, big emotional thing. I mean, there kind of was, but I didn't find it to be super emotional. Um, I guess I didn't really connect with the characters that much, but it wasn't an issue for me because I was just able to read this book and get out of my reading slump because 
it was fun it was easy and that was just what I needed um, I will say that the relationship was a little bit difficult to read because it, it was really rushed and it didn't really get the chance to develop like I wish it had I think if it had been given the chance to kind of flower and blossom more it would have made more sense but um, that didn't happen I did really like though the traveling around the world and the descriptions of the places that you went in this book they were really vivid and you guys know how much I love traveling so traveling in this book was really fantastic and I liked seeing these places however I do wish that at times we had spent more time in the places because sometimes it was just like um, I feel like it was one chapter that you spent in a certain place I would have liked to kind of been able to be engrossed more in that environment I think it would have made the book a little bit better the romance in this book was really cute and quirky and it seems like it's the center of the book but in my opinion it's really not I think you more so focus on the individual characters and how they are going growing up I guess and how they're kind of um coming to face some issues that they've ignored for a while and you do get that in relation to each other but at the same time you get to learn about them as individuals which I liked because it wasn't just them as a couple. So overall I gave this book a 3.75 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it. It was exactly what I needed to get me out of my reading slump. It was quick, fun, cute, quirky, all that stuff. It's definitely by no means like a gem, but I think it's just a really great book if you need something quick and you just need something to pick up so then you get reading again. I think this book would be a good pick. So yeah, that's going to be all for today's review. Let me know your thoughts on this book. If you liked it or if you didn't, just let me know. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.